everyone and welcome to today's spark plug how to build culture and community virtually with adult learners my name is victoria james i'm the director of professional learning at mindspark learning i've left my email here on the screen please reach out if you have comments or questions i would love to hear from you so our session today is broken into four how to's the first how to when building culture and community virtually with adult learners is to check in before you get into any projects or content, I think it's really important to connect with your adult learners uh, on a human level. So this you know, can consist of a personal one-on-one -on -one phone call or a Zoom meeting where you're just kind of touching base to see you know, how are you feeling? What do you need? How can I support you? And most importantly, are you and your family okay? We all know that relationships are built on a foundation of trust. And when you take the time to check in, you are showing that you care. I think this is so important, especially now, uh, because you want to get to continue to know your virtual adult learners, right, as, as the human beings that they are, in addition to getting to know them in a professional sense, make sure you take the time to get to know them and continue to get to know them personally as well. How to number two is to offer support and space. This can consist of regular one-on-ones using the Zoom uh, breakout room function. I did this recently with adult learners and I created a breakout room for every single individual. And as the meeting host, I could hop in and out of those breakout rooms and just check in one-on-one. -on -one. It really was a good experience because I got to just be in a private space with them, listen to how they were doing both professionally and personally um, and made that space for them uh, to support them. I think uh, it really is important too to communicate with your adult learners how to contact you. We don't have that, you know, personal uh, in-person connection space anymore, be it the classroom or the office. So make sure you are very clear, you know, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Um, because maybe you checked in with them briefly on your way and, you know, as you arrived at the office, passing by your desk, now that has shifted, it's changed. We're virtual now, so make sure that you continue to offer support and space. Um, a great example that I could cite for creating spaces uh, is you know, create a personal Slack channel for your adult learners. Perhaps they can continue to work together, problem solve with one another with or without you being present. An example of creating space uh, and support for adult learners virtually is with the uh, platform Jackbox Games. I love these. I did this recently with my team uh, and a few uh, adult learners last week. We had a really good time and I think it's important now to remember that you need to continue to create space to have fun, to bring joy to the work, um, and to, you know, just cut loose every now and then because things are very serious. People are feeling you know, anxious and fearful and playing games is a great way to continue to, you know, build community uh, with your adult learners. Another example is pinboard.com. This is a virtual bulletin board that teams can use to collaborate, to celebrate big and little wins. A friend of mine shared that she uses this with her team to uh, celebrate the, the wins. She calls it a win board. And it's a space that's a bit more informal and it's where people post encouraging messages and shout outs and it's a really positive space to to build culture and community uh, virtually how to number three is to be intentional i think with your communication and your messaging with your with your adult learners right now is really important so you know sharing we will get through this um, this is where we are in our work in our progress and this is the plan moving forward of where we're going i think being very clear and intentional with your adult learners is critical, especially at this time. A great uh, quote that kind of summarizes uh, the importance of being intentional is culture eats strategy for lunch. So if you have the best uh, strategic plan and you think you've thought of every single element of it, if you haven't actively at the same time continuously planned and invested uh, in your, your culture of your organization, of your team, with your adult learners, you know, it happens by chance. And you don't wanna leave something that critically important up to chance. Um, if you want to create a space that is virtual, that is, you know, productive, supportive, and collaborative, I would intentionally, specifically say that to your adult learners. How to number four is to reflect. 
we're all operating at 100 miles an hour right now. It can be really difficult and stressful and overwhelming, but I think it's critically important that we take the time, both individually and collectively, with our adult learners to reflect. Um, you can ask your adult learners questions like, you know, we're operating at a breakneck speed. You know, what are we perhaps overlooking or what are some of our blind spots? Um, same thing, you know, whose voices may, be we, uh, may we be missing right now um, while we're operating at this speed? Um, I've also, you know, had my adult learners reflect on, you know, some lighter uh, prompts and topics and, you know, I've asked them to share the name of someone who's cared for them or who is currently caring for them. Um, I've also asked them, you know, to describe a time uh, in their lives, you know, where they felt uh, that they were supported and that they had a really positive experience with their teens, um, as well as, you know, who or what is helping you get through this. There have been some really organic, authentic, you know, real conversations that have brought us closer together and helped us build culture and community uh, as a team through reflection. So uh, this quote, I think, is particularly powerful and, uh, you know, very simply asks folks, you know, who do you want to be during this time? Um, we've, you know, looked back on our experiences in schools and I asked my adult learners, you know, what's one thing you miss? that you took for granted uh, previously, that you'll never take for granted again. And that was a great way to get them to think back to more you know, positive, simple, happy times, um, and did it brought us closer together. And uh, coming to a close, this image I think is particularly powerful as well for uh, as a tool for reflection, because it helps you as an individual and your adult learners as individuals kind of reflect on which zone they want to be in during this time. Do they want to be in the fear zone, the learning zone, or the growth zone? And if everybody, you know, shares that, okay, I want to, I really want to try to spend the majority of my time uh, with you all and on my own in the learning and growth zone, what are some ways in which I can do that? And how can we support each other to remain in those zones? I think it's also important to, you know, share with your adult learners that it's okay if one day you find yourself in all three zones <laughs> in the same hour, that's, that's normal, right? We are here for each other, we wanna support each other. Um, and I think you know, using a tool like this for reflection can be powerful and impactful. That's all we have for you today. Again, my name is Victoria James. I've left my email here. Please don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to hear from you. And I've also included the link to MindSpark Learning's online toolkit, which features many more Spark Plug videos, spotlight trainings, as well as online virtual resources. Thank you so much. See you next time.